Okay, so this is the 2002 uh, Nissan Maxima that um, I have uh, misfired. It's very bad, and the engine light was uh, on and off during driving. And um, so I got this Coke here, P0306. And when I look it up, it's saying that uh, this is the cylinder 6 uh, misfire. So the first thing I'm going to do is to check the coil and possibly replace it to see if it's going to fix that. We'll see. Okay, so I removed the engine cover with the one, two, three, four, oh, with Allen wrench. This right here. By the way, um, this is number six here. I look it up. So just uh, using number ten uh, socket, I remove the bolt here. It's the bolt. Number ten, and unplug that, and I take out. You see the coil here. This is number six. So I'm going to pull the boost out. See here, look good. There's no oil anything. So that means there's no oil around anything. So that means my uh, seal is working. So it's supposed to be. So I'm going to remove here. All right, here the boost. And look at this. You see, it's pretty bad. Look, I hope you see the cause, but let's see. You can see. Okay, you can see that it's rust up pretty bad. The connection here. I hope you see the culprit. Uh, but uh, let's see. So basically, I'm going to swap out another one on the other cylinder. And, uh, and see how how it goes. Here's the one I'm going to swap out. This one still look better condition than this one. You can see this one is like rusty and corroded. You can see pretty bad. And this is the one I'm going to replace that. And I'm going to put using the old boost. Here and put it back and see how it go. Okay, so okay, so I got the new coil uh, installed, but um, during the uh, when I get the coke, I also uh, another thing I did was to when I start the car and while the car is idling. I remove this plug right here and the engine is still uh, you can feel the engine is still shaking so that very much confirmed this one is bad but uh, I'm installed this new one now so the, I'm gonna start a car to see okay so I decide to pull the pop, spark plug cylinder number six and this is what it look like See, it's kind of like wet. Okay, so now I clean it up with the white brush. It looks much better now. By the way, with the bottom model, this is the model Iridium AOFR5AIX11. Okay, so what I did was I take this this coil, I swap the two coils, I swap this one over here and this one over here, and you see when I unplug. 
this one was bad earlier. That's why I need to take the ball from here to here. And when I unplug it, they see the engine up here and it's shutting. See? So you know the cause was bad. When I plug it back, it's not normal. Because, so you know this coil is very good. Now I take the coil from here earlier and put over here. And when I remove, and when I plug this in, in the engine now PM stay the same. I remove it. Ah, oh, come on, man! I can get it out. So I unplug it. The engine now PM stay the same. So that tell me the coil was bad. So did replace the coil and, uh, and that should fix the problem. Okay guys, so I'm back. Earlier that I do some diagnosis uh, for my car and um, I already showed you guys that um, the score was bad. So I one thing so I go a little a little bit further uh, to um, uh, and you know to I, I diagnose a little further and find out that what bad is not the coil itself but this thing right here is bad this piece here and the coil is good because I just um, I just know the coil was good but when I you know this is just um, during the diagnosis so I noticed that the uh, this thing was uh, detachable so what I find out is inside this boost right here, this is what inside. It, it lay out like this. Okay. And I know the coil is good. The coil itself. And you know, I'm thinking. Um so this is what inside here and I Take this piece out, and I discover this piece is in the middle, in the between. I'm not sure what it's for, but um, this one is actually is the bad one because what I did was um, I detached the boost. I'm going to do that. Hold on. Okay, so. Here it is. I detach it, and basically, is what I did was I know the um, the oil cylinder was good, so I take that uh, coil, switch over this one, and it's actually what I did was I swap because I know this detachable, so uh, I went a step further and swapping. You know, earlier I swapped the coil. We know the coil was bad. Then I know I know I see this thing in detachable. So I went a step further and swapping the boot itself. The, the, the coil will stay the same, but I'm gonna swap this boot right here, the boot, the good one. I know, swap to the other one. Then I discover that the good coil is now is become bad I hope you understand but anyway because after I swap it then I noticed that the the, the no good call was is actually do the misfire after I swap the boost so I know that the call itself is good but this piece itself is bad so and um, I I take them out and I get this uh, this coil right here is from the another vehicle a Nissan I think the 300 ZX I have you know it laying around my garage um, this is the, from the, like again this is the 300 ZX I think the 90 and 92 model 92 model so I took this piece out and inside it's just a, a piece of ring like this. Take it out for you. Here 
a ring like this. Let me take it out. Um, I guess the reason I find out this piece was bad initially is um, you know that this thing initially was misfire on number six at the beginning. But after I run the car for a few minutes, and you know this one misfire. But when I took this piece out here and I hold, I hold this um, bush right here, and it's very hot. It's very hot. That means that it tell me that there's something happening in here. But how come the 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 the, the spark plug doesn't get fire? So that tell me there's some thing, something wrong because I know some sparking happening here because this thing gets so hot. But the my engine run rough. That that tell me that spark plug didn't fire. This there's something happening here because this thing get hot. So that's how that's why I discover. That's why I take this apart and discover this thing was bad. So. Okay, so I went a step further, and this is my old meter here. I'm going to measure resistance for that piece right there and see what the number. So yeah, I don't have anybody to hold my camera here. So let me see if we can do something. Get back with me. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to measure this thing here. So two points in change. I set this my own meter in the 20k. See 20k here. And I measure the, the ohm here. So it's setting 2.34 resistance. Okay, 2.34. So this one right here is a good coil and I know it's a good boost too because during the engine running I unplug it and the engine shut right away so you know this piece the whole piece is good so I, I detach this is a good one I'm going to measure the resistance here and see what the number Side here. Hold on, let me see if you can see it. Look, I did nothing. Okay, so when I measure this one right here, the good one, uh, the ohmmeter say. 2.1 I get 2.11k ohm this one say 2.33 so I guess that's the difference there I do it again two point three four okay so this one says two point three four Yeah, 2.34. The good one measure is 2.1. So I don't know what what it is, but that's what it is. Okay, so I'm uh, well. <coughs> I'm back, everyone. Um, this is the continue of the previous video that uh, I have some misfire. Uh, the res result of the bad. Um, this boot right here, not the coal itself, but this thing. See, this is how this is how assembly look like. But this one is the bad one. The coal itself is good. The coal is good. This is bad. The, so, <clears throat> alright. So this inside the boot, 
this is what it look like this is new this is oh this is the original what this is what inside the booth so we find out that this piece right here is bad okay so I scout around the internet to find just this piece you know, I don't I don't I don't know what this thing called so I don't think I'm able to find it so I'm looking for the whole thing the boot itself so I found one at advanced auto box and this is what I get auto light uh, professional series it could call it on boots with the cell they don't they sell this the boot itself only and this is what inside of it okay and here this is I guess this, this is, I guess this is the item number from advanced auto box I guess the item three five seven zero four nine eight nine nine a piece. So I bought four of them. I like to get all six, but they don't. Have, they have only four, so I get four only. Again, this is advanced auto box. They have this. So back here, the thing is, I measure the resistance of this piece right here. Okay, so I'm going to hold the camera and do some measure here last time I, I think we did but uh, I do it again let's see what a number give me here let me focus camera here. sorry I don't have anybody to hold the camera for me so all right let's go back read a number again 2.35 2. 2.34 The number should read I measure this is this one new here so I measure it 2.0 and change one point nine eight okay so so I get this one should agree one point nine eight and thousand almost something I, I'm not sure this is this I'm not see my, my millimeter on a 20,000 scale here you can see better 20,000 scale and read 2.98 the bad one read 2.35 so okay so I get too much resistance this thing bad so I bought new one and replace it and uh, that's uh, should take care of the problem but misfire code uh, also again you don't have to replace the coil the coil itself is good just the boost just this piece okay Okay, uh, I, I hope it helped uh, someone out there.